If they come out in time, I give you a break. But if you don't, ain't nothing I can do but write you a ticket. Let's see what we got here. This violation here, guys on the curb. I don't see no activity. Oh, I'm gonna write this ticket. See, I know what he's trying to do. He don't want his truck to get hit, but can't be on that curb like that unless he has permission from the city. There he is now. How you doing, sir? What's going on? Yeah, you. Why you give a ticket? It's well, we, but you can't be on the curb like that. This is a it's a because it's too wide. I know, but it's illegal. You just tell me to move it. I could move. That's not my job. I can't do that. I'm letting you slide with those cars up there because you don't have a lot. I can write you for all these cars. Well, well, let me slide. This my property. Well, this is city property. Every single day, you guys are coming giving tickets. You think we're made of money or whatever? That's. I'm gonna go over here and check out this car. This guy here is on the lot line. He's between the sidewalk to the street. That's illegal. This year right here? Yeah, you got to. It's out of gas. It's out of gas. That's why I that I'm going to get some uh, gas tank. Huh? Put some gas in it. Sorry, I ain't already printed this ticket. If you came out, I would have gave you a break. Out of gas in front of a gas station. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. That's like being in, locked in a store and you starve to death. Send me my wrong, people. When I first started doing this job, I knew I was running into people that just wished that they would just terminate this job, period. You just have to know who you are and where you come from. Since I lost a lot of weight, you know, it is something new for me. You know, I come out here, I get the people they respect, and in return, so far, they have respect in me. This is another commercial vehicle equipment. You know, I think this person parked this here because they probably believe that since this house here is abandoned, they can just do anything they want to do. I don't see nobody, so I'm just going to proceed. This ticket is done. How you doing? What's up? Well, you can't park the commercial equipment on the street. Commercial equipment. It's not commercial. It's personal use. I'm taking this stuff up north. I just came down today. I don't know. You see this equipment here? It's my personal property, dude. You're on city property, though. I can't park my own on my own in front of my buddy's house. You know, you got commercial equipment parked on a residential street. You so you're going to give me a ticket? I've already printed that ticket. No. This is yours, buddy. I'm not paying. Um, OK, well, don't pay it. He's giving me a ticket because I parked my trailer in front of your house. You guys who came out a little earlier, I could have saved you a ticket. But once it come oh, out, this no. is. No, no, that's Yeah. I want the cops here now, buddy. Cops oh. here for what? Because that's It's illegal. No, it's not. How is this commercial piece of equipment? Because it's a trailer? I'm not paying that ticket. I shouldn't have to. You want to hook that to go to Walmart? Yeah. But I'm not paying some Detroit So what What are you going to do about it, bud? Sir, don't don't come over here, please. No, what the This is illegal. Where's a sign that says That's a that? city ordinance. This is a commercial equipment on the street. Not a commercial equipment. What is it then? It's not. It's my personal it's use. Place. It's registered to me. Y'all not listening to me. It's illegal to have pickup trucks, flatbeds, trailers on city property, okay, on the street. The it's, that's, How are you going to write him a ticket? You can have it on your property. I'm never going to sit on my property. Y'all not listening to me. Y'all seriously not listening to me. I own a business in the city of Detroit. I know what's legal and what's not. So what, what are we arguing about here? Well, this ticket. ticket. It's nothing I can do. You can you either can go to the You can do, but you're going to give me a ticket for 100 bucks. It's illegally parked. You can't go up in that little computer of yours and erase that Sir, you can use your three options on the back. You can take it to court. The court will tell you the same thing I'm telling you. You cannot park commercial equipment, pickup trucks, trailers, so, all that oh, on the street. Now, wait. Now you're saying if I leave my truck there and you come back, I'm going to get it taken for that. The truck is not a commercial. Well, that's what you're saying. This, this is equipment, sir. No, it's not. Does it say commercial on it? Does okay. It? Okay. It have a nice, have a nice day, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I will. I can have a nice I'll day. Go right down to the county building. Hmm. Yeah. This is really ghetto. I don't know what his problem was. 
And I could tell the way he was walking towards that ticket and snatched it. The fireworks had begun. So I just sat there and let him vent. Because if you just keep feeding back into the fire, the fire ain't gonna do them but just get bigger. Man, I'm taking this whole situation real light. At the end of the day, I know who I am, so you know, I know I'm a handsome, sexy guy, you know, that just lost 70 pounds in a year. So it is what it is. On to the next one.